all right guys good morning cfp here and this is survival living so today's video winter power outages i've been getting emails non-stop dude how do i stay warm i've got no power did you prep no dude i heard if i put a tent up in the room i'll be able to stay warm maybe one to two degrees that tent is just to bounce and radiate your body heat and to keep wind from the outside crossing your body and you're getting the wind chill temperature. If you have no way of generating heat and you're sitting in a tent inside your house and it's below zero, you're not staying warm. Now if you have a way to power up a small electric heater and you're inside that tent, yes. But if you have no way of creating power and you're sitting in a tent, sitting in a room and it's below zero, you're gonna freeze your ass off. Get in your car, crank up your car, sit with that heater. Guys, Harbor Freight. This is a Predator 4000. 3200 running watts. 4000 peak watts. It has room for your 240 volt plugs. It's got your 120 volt plugs, 13 amps, 13 amps, GFI'd. You have the ability to run DC equipment. DC breaker, it's 8.3 amps. You got your breaker resets. You got a ground. This thing cost me less than $400. The reason why it costs that much is because I bought the warranty with it. Get a generator. Start putting fuel back. Okay? Store fuel. Ugh. Yes, we got fuel everywhere. And we got fuel hidden. Guys, how many times have I talked about solar? All right, solar, you can put it in your yard. We put it on our trailer. Solar power. We've shown solar generators. All right, we've even shown our affiliate links for those guys. That's something you could purchase and put back for an emergency, like the power's out because it's snowing like crazy. Some polar vortexes come. Hey, man, there's snow in Texas. Did you prepare? No. Instead, now you're emailing me going, how do I stay warm in my house? I don't have electricity. And again, my first question, what did you prep? I've actually got family members in Texas. They're distant relatives, something. But the communication chain broke down and found out that, hey, CFP's a prepper. Let's ask him. They're snowed in. Can't get out. Guess how much food they got? You know, most... Average Americans have three to four days worth of food in their home. Guess what? They turned out to be average Americans. They're worried about not having food. Fortunately, with my information, you won't die with only th without three days worth of food. It takes a lot longer than that. Solar, guys. All right. Now you don't have to have this huge solar farm. Okay. We've shown on our trailer solar. We've shown the solar generators. We've shown these items for you. We've shown how a solar generator you can put back, put in a closet somewhere till you need it. Just like now. Winter time. Snowed in. Now, I've read the comments before. Dude, solar's great, but when it's called gray sky, man, you won't get power. Incorrect. I draw power every day. I'm still running off of our solar every time it rains every time. It's nasty We still draw power. It's not as much power as when it's nice and bright outside But we still do just fine the main key even if your snow solar panels get covered with snow Your battery banks. That's what you're actually Getting your power from you're getting your power from your reserved battery banks that these things generate power and charge up and then it stores for when you need it so in closing stop being a victim of natural disasters prepare dude how dare you man i live in hurricane alley here and i still prepare and guess what i've always got power I've always got water. I've always got food. I've always got a way to treat and purify water. You know why? Because I don't put my hand out going, poor me, what do I do now? You're supposed to be a damn prepper. Prep. 
Oh man, you are just mean today. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and play patty cakes with you or whatever. Because you might get offended because I'm coming down on you like a ton of bricks. This isn't a ton of bricks. This is me saying, wake the hell up. You see everything going on. All I hear is excuses after excuses. I can't prep because of blah, blah, blah. Really? You know, my wife and I lived in the freaking woods for over two months so we could save every dime we had so that we could take that money while I was freaking working an hour away and coming back every day. I was taking that money so we could put on our property in Wyoming and pay that sucker off so that we had property so we can move into one less bill. We're living in a 6x12 trailer right now. I give my family $100 a month to park it out there. And I live on it. I live in it. We produce our own electricity. We connect to the well for our well water. We stay out of everybody's way. We made sacrifices. We left our home in pursuit of a better life. We continue prepping. You know how many times I've had to restart prepping? House fire. Prison. I have lost many things. Oh, on the run for six years. Actually, though, I started prepping again during those six years. But when I was a train rider, I couldn't. You know how many times I've lost everything and kept going back at it, getting my supplies back up. Made a bad decision in life, screwed up. I had to go back at it again. Just because you lose something doesn't mean you put down the cards. Why are you prepping? Is this some type of social club for you? It's a freaking lifestyle for me. I see the need to prep, to store food, to get ready. Oh, you don't understand. I wanted to get a latte, and, you know, they went up on price. So, you know what? I decided not to buy a can of beans this week. Buy food. Get ready for it. Right fast, guys, I would like to talk about one of our affiliate programs here on the channel. The best way to protect your family is being prepared. Not only is Legacy Premium the best value in food storage, but it is also the best tasting and most nutritious. Up to a 25 year shelf life and free shipping on all orders, Legacy Food is a go-to for long-term emergency foods. Not only are we affiliated with Legacy Food Storage, we actually use them for our emergency long-term food preps. Legacy Food has the lowest cost per pound, Voted the best tasting, a 25 year shelf life, non-GMO, gluten free options, and yes, it's made here in the USA. So guys, if you want to help support the channel and support yourself with long term food storage, check out our affiliate links in the description.